all the renewables come in the form of electricity. If I convert the electricity into synthetic fuel, it's not 100% efficient. So why not use the electricity in the first place? For over 50 years, Sorg has led the way in electric melting, pioneering innovation in industrial glass production. However, the industry still relies heavily on gas-fired furnaces. So today the workhorse of the container glass industry especially is the end-fired furnace. This needs gas and a lot of gas to work. Yeah? The key to the conventional furnaces is a high superstructure temperature. Uh, and uh, intense heat transfer from the superstructure with the combustion into the glass melt. And having this high temperature in the complete furnace. And if you increase the electricity, you have to dial down the, the gas. And then you don't have the energy in the right place anymore because you need it not so much that the electricity can do the job of melting. So, turning the solid raw materials into liquid glass. But this liquid will still contain a lot of bubbles, blister seeds, and then you need the process of fining, which is driving out the gas bubbles. And fining needs high temperature in a certain area of the furnace. So you have to move the little bit of combustion that you still have in this area. Redesigning a furnace is no small challenge, but the current limitations of all electric melting make it necessary. With the existing furnace technology, we are limited in, in pull to about 200 tons per day. That's the limit for practically all furnace manufacturers, furnace suppliers at the moment. And we are working to overcome that limit. And the other big issue is there are certain kinds of glass chemistries that are hard to produce with all electric melting. And for mass-produced glasses, this is especially true for amber glass. The need to decarbonize the industry is clear. Sorg no electrification is the future, despite the limitations of fully electric melting. To overcome these challenges, they have to find another solution. We still talk about 20 to 40 percent combustion and we have to replace the natural gas with something that is carbon neutral. Hydrogen or some kind of synthetic fuel, you know, which might be produced from renewable energy, but all the renewables come in the form of electricity. So if I convert the electricity into some kind of synthetic fuel, I lose energy. It's not 100% efficient. So why not use the electricity in the first place? There's a requirement for a furnace that is flexible, that can increase the share of electricity over time. And the glass industry is not the only industry transitioning away from fossil fuels. All electric melting is on the horizon. But Sorg need to develop a furnace for the here and now. All electric furnaces are great, but it's a different animal and limitations. More electricity means less combustion, and then we need to put the combustion in the right place, and this requires a new furnace design. We are in an area change, yeah? the area of gas heating towards the area of electrical uh, glass melting. If we want to survive, the role of R&D is essential.